All right, hi, my name is Mike. And my name is Sam. And today we're gonna um, we're gonna grow some bacteria okay. that we find that we're gonna find on various things. Um, the first thing we need to do is wash our hands really well. Okay. All right, we're now we're back. Yep. We need a few things to start here. You need a petri dish. Yep. Which you can buy um, at any like school supply store or science supply store or anything anywhere like that. Um, and then there's special stuff that you can that you have to put in it, and it's basically food for the bacteria. Um, you can make it yourself. And I'll put the recipe up. Yeah. Or you can buy these pre-made. Okay. Yep. I'm doing okay. What you also need are... Q-tips. Some Q-tips. Okay. And you gotta make sure they're clean. Okay. Everything has to be clean. Your hands have to be clean. Your Q-tips have to be clean. Alright, we're here in the bathroom now. And we're gonna take and open up the Petri dish. And Sam is gonna... I'm gonna do it for him. Here, hold out your hand. We're gonna... We do this. We're gonna get. We'll get here. Hold it on the camera here. And the cracks here. And then we're just gonna rub it on the surface. Yep. Here. And then we're gonna close it and set it aside. Then Sammy's gonna wash his hands. Okay, we're back. Sammy's washed his hands. And we're going to do the same thing again on his hands. We're going to close that up, and then we're going to have to label, we have before hand washing and after hand washing, so we're going to label both of those. Okay, we're back, and we have them labeled before and after. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take another one, and Sam, why don't you, uh, why don't we go wipe off, uh, a doorknob. Hey, let's use the bathroom doorknob. That'll be a good one. Alright. That's good. It is such a friend. And then, very gently. What is this? Okay, we've got the sample from the door. We're going to put a lid on it and set that aside and label it. What else do you think we should do? How about a sponge? Yeah, let's sponge. go do a sponge. All right, let's get the dirty kitchen sponge. All right. Alright, we have oh, one I more here. I'm just gonna gently rub it all over. Do 
doesn't look like we're doing anything, but we're actually leaving some microscopic bacteria on there. And then we're going to set these aside for a few days and see what happens. Hopefully, we can grow some bacteria. Okay, we've got the sample from the door. We're going to put a lid on it and set that aside and label it. What else do you think we should do? How about a sponge? Sponge. Let's go do a sponge. All right, let's get the dirty kitchen sponge. All right. All right, we have oh, one I more think here. Gently rub it all over. It doesn't look like we're doing anything, but we're actually leaving some microscopic bacteria on there. And then we're going to set these aside for a few days and see what happens. Hopefully, we can grow some bacteria. Okay, now that we have our bacteria cultures all set to go, we're going to put them somewhere. Uh, warm and dark and let them go for a few days. See what we're gonna do is put them on top of the water heater and we're gonna see what happens. All right, well, hi, we're back. It's been about six days, and we're gonna take a look and see what uh, see what grew. Mm -hmm. um, I've got, who's this here? Evie. Evie, okay, and my name's Mike again. Um, all right, let's take a look at uh, the before and after hand washing first. Okay, this is what was on Sammy's hands before he washed them. That's gross. That is gross. And it smells pretty bad too. Look at that. That's lots of different kinds of bacteria growing here. And you have to be careful with this stuff because these are potentially germs that will make you sick. So you want to make sure you wash your hands after you're done. Now this is what it looks like after. And it looks clean. Pretty clean. There's a little, little bit right there. There's a couple little, couple little dots there. Nothing too bad though. Yeah. All right. Now let's look at the door. This is the door handle. Look at that. 
That the door oh, and this is really smells awful. The door is really doesn't. Look. The door is very dirty. Yeah, and we need to not look cool. We should wash our door handle. Mhm. Mm Cause that's those are the those are like germs that are growing on our door. Yeah. All right, now let's look at the sponge. The sponge is really gross. Yeah. Look at that. The sponge is gross because it was old. It was and old. Now, and now Daddy threw it away. Yes, I definitely threw it away after seeing this. Alright. Well, there you have that. And I think what we're going to do is uh, we'll take some, take some samples from these and prepare some slides to look at under the microscope mm -hmm. and see what's really going on. If you have a microscope at home, you can do the same thing. Mm -hmm. And then when we're done with these, we're just going to throw them out because there's not much more we can do with this. Mm -hmm. Like you can't do another one because they'll probably stick. Yeah. So these are these are actually disposable. Uh, petri dishes so it's not recommended that you reuse them you can buy if you want you can buy glass ones that you can reuse but they have to be sanitized every time well that's it for our bacteria growing experiment mm -hmm. we'll see you next time mm -hmm. bye